Hello guys, this is Gaurav from BitQuery. Today I'm going to talk about how to carry Ethereum blockchain using BitQuery. BitQuery is a blockchain data provider. We provide blockchain data for more than 40 blockchains. You can query different types of things, example transactions, transfers, dex trades, smart contract calls, arguments, anything you want. So we'll start today with Ethereum. Um, Ethereum is one of the most popular blockchain, one of the most used blockchain. So we'll see how to query different data from um, Ethereum blockchain. I have already created a video on how to get started with the BitQuery. If you are new to BitQuery, you can check that also, or you can just watch this video to learn just about Ethereum. And it's a similar it's a similar approach. So you can go either way. So w once you start, like you first uh, use our Explorer because our Explorer is a sort of a demo for our own APIs. So you can see, uh, you can open explorer.bitquery.io. There you will see that there are multiple uh, blockchains as shown here, like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic and sort of those. So let's open Ethereum. You see, uh, this is like Ethereum latest blocks and you see this get API button on the uh, bottom right. If you click on this, it will open our own ID which is built for creating testing APIs. So if you click on this, it will open it and the open the API, which is getting this data. So let's, for example, let's open this. Uh, you see that this is the API, which is getting latest block is the same thing, right? So you can see the latest blocks of Ethereum. Let's say if you want to know the latest transactions of Ethereum, so you can click on on transaction for example you can change the date here also if you want to just for today itself so if you click on this it will open the api for latest transactions so i'll go so basically you see that how can you use explorer to get already created queries so let it run for example you can change date here this is the result and let's example for example let's change date here to let's get it nine because we are getting the latest transaction only so we'll get for six right or you can get it from seven itself from today's date right this is the latest transactions now one more thing that you can change this queries this is just pre-built query which is showing the transaction but for example let's say you want to add extra information which is available there if you press depend on if you are using mac or windows but if you are using mac like i am like uh, then you can press control um, st control space to see all the auto options so for example you want to see cash price cash currency here if there is an error or not for example you can see different different types of data right for example amount what was the amount if for example, you'll see amount shows like the native amount if it is can transferred, but all the ERC20 which you transfer or you do transaction that's a for that there is a transfer query for that. For example, here you see the transfer is amount is zero, right? Most probably it is transferring some ERC20. For example, let's see this. Um, Let's copy this transaction hash and paste it on our explorer. Now you see this is this is the transaction detail, this is sender receiver, and this is a transfer. See it's transferring ape and that is like 396 ape. Right? Now uh, not 396, it's 396,548 ape coins. Right? You can see the dollar value also. So if you want to see this transfer, you can see transfer query. You click on this get API, you will see the transfer API, click on it. This is the result, right? So you see how we are using Explorer to first search out the data and then open the APIs because it's much easy if you are very new to GraphQL, you don't understand a lot of thing in GraphQL because there is a little learning curve there with the GraphQL. So it makes life easy that you get pre-constructed queries. Um, now you see this query for example you if you get it for different transaction as you can get it 
this part is called filter so let me explain what this this query so these are parameters uh, these are like uh, declared parameters we are sending parameters from here from this from this is parameter section we are sending this parameter and then this is a data type of course ethereum is a blockchain but in bitquery ethereum is a data type the network is ethereum so you can have a different network also like matic bsc they all are ethereum type all the evm compatible chain are ethereum data type for us then this is a transfer api these are the filters and these are the results we want right now if you want to see how to get the code for this api like if you want to use this in your code so you see this here on the right side uh, this code snip on the right uh, this button code snip you can see the code for javascript node.js python php anything if you, if you want for python this is the code if you run this in python script then it will provide this result so this is this is uh, this is the code of this query basically it's basically codified so now if you want to change this query for example let's say let's say we get a transaction for today uh, let's say we say date is today which is uh, 2020 uh, which is 2022 it's a september month and that is today 7th right so let's get today a transaction where amount is more than let's say 1 million right right cool now we see we don't need hash anymore so we remove it from here right let's run it you see th these are transactions this is a burn e ens burn address sender is this receiver is this okay currency was this somebody sent these many currencies to burn address uh, no these are minting currency i guess uh, then you see currencies uh, where somebody mint x shiba coin uh, to this address this many amounts right so you see uh, you see uh, different types of uh, one thing this is 10 million we'll do 1 million you can do there was extra zero I removed it cool so this way you can get all the transactions let's say we want to know the count of the transactions which are greater than 1 million and this can this amount can be any currency if you want a specific currency for example so for example this was a, uh, a specific ud currency uh, the transaction amount was okay let's try this x ship amount was something 1 million 30 it's more than 1 million i guess let's try yes so you can just put a currency here like currency is like this so it will just give you the result of this currency right like this if you want to know the count for example so you can also do count to move these details just add count that's it there are 73 transactions which are greater than 1 million uh, amount value pass for this token itself Let's say if you want to uh, know, for example, um, like different types of receivers, unique senders. For example, let's say let's look for unique senders and receivers for uh, for this currency for today. Count, you say count. Unique senders, count. Unique receivers now there is one thing there is a problem in the query that there is two count with the same name so you need to uh, um, may make uh, use the name aliasing so you can change the name so basically you can change for example change it to s change it to r 
you can give it any name so there are 42 unique senders and 35 unique receivers for this token for today till now right so basically this way you can modify queries based on your uh, um, own based on your um, requirement there is one more thing you see here for example uh, this this is a builder you see you can use builders to uh, uh, change queries based on your requirement uh, you can create queries build queries if you are new let's say let's get something more um, useful for example uh, let's open the explorer and let's see this is a receiver right now let's say if you want to know the balance of a uh, currency uh, address for example this is an address and you see this is a balance right you just open this query this is a balance query to get the balance for any address on ethereum right cool uh, you can also get balance historically um, you see history for a specific currency for example this is some currency if you want to know the balance of uh, let's let me change the query currency is right and we need history so in the history we need uh, timestamp value right and we also need so this is like two timestamp where you see these many this was the transaction um, this was the uh, um, a balance for uh, this address for this currency for we have like two history for different currencies you can see more you can add filters also for example if you want to know uh, balance for a specific time or date uh, you can also add filters here one second yeah yes you can add it here here you can add date or height two filters to see the balance at a specific time or date basically right now if you want to know for example trades uh, ethereum trades so, so let's go on ethereum back we'll see dex trades you see dexes we i'll create a more uh, comprehensive video on dexes uh, after this uh, but these are you see like dexes we support a lot of dexes so for example let's open let's open uniswap uh, let's say latest trade of uniswap so this is trade you can click on here you can see latest trades of uniswap you can also create OHLC data which is used for uh, creating a, a charts for trading view and sort of those things so you can search OHLC here so this is where you can query ethereum data you can query balance transfers you can also do smart contract calls so one more important part is mm, let's see smart contract calls cool so this is smart contract calls and this is a list of smart contract calls all right this is some smart contract if you open a smart contract uh, on the calls contract you you will see the all the smart contract calls uh, it's not showing let's see the date change we'll change the date message. this is ERC20 token uh, one second let's go for different to different uh, smart contract uh, okay so we'll go for this one you see smart contract calls right these are smart contract calls. you can see that we have a method name also so if you see so there are two apis a smart contract calls api and argument api which can be used to get a smart contract calls from bitquery so you can see all the data is here and there is an argument api also you can see on here 
explore will help you to see all the queries which are created by our own users you can actually create and save for example this is a query uh, you can actually save it and share it with everyone you can give the name and everything you can hashtag and everything so for example a lot of people created and saved queries so you can see argument api argument api can give you um, uh, specific arguments their details inputs for smart contract events as well as smart contract calls so for example this is for a smart contract event similarly you can give it for a smart contract uh, call uh, here you can change to smart contract method if this contract has it it will give you uh, the method details basically so you can use explorer so basically you can use our BitQuery to query smart contract events, calls, transfers, transactions, trades. Uh, there is also one thing called Coin Path APIs, which help you to follow money on blockchain. Uh, as you can see, um, where the money is going, where the money is coming from. You can also see API behind it. It is mostly used in compliance investigation space. So you can query all sorts of data from Ethereum using BitQuery APIs. Um, if you have any questions please uh, uh, um, put it on a comment section if or you can join our telegram i have added a link in the description you can ask there i have also added a link of our forum you can ask questions there um, and let me know if you want me to create any video on anything to get any sort of data on ethereum or any other blockchain i'll create that thank you